In the first tutorial, I briefly introduced you to the Mimeo. As a reminder, the Mimeo is portable and light. It can turn any projection into an interactive whiteboard. It has flip chart software and it costs half the price of a fixed interactive whiteboard. Its cost and versatility make it a low risk investment for schools wishing to experiment with their interactive whiteboards. And it's for this reason that we've chosen to focus on the Mimeo. There are, however, many similarities between all interactive whiteboard flip charts. So the tutorials may be useful for teachers out there who are using other whiteboard technologies too. In a Mimeo pack, there are four things you have to look out for. The pen, the USB cable, the software CD-ROM, and the Mimeo. After you install the software, which only takes a minute, you can get started almost straight away. First, put the batteries into the pen. It's a simple task, I know, but one that you could easily forget. Next, connect the Mimeo to the computer via the USB cable. Before we stick it to the wall, I should point out that there are suction pads on the Mimeo which will hold on any smooth, shiny surface. For hard surfaces, you can use either blue tack or the Mimeo clips and sticky tape. You can also drill the clips into the wall if you want to fix the Mimeo in a permanent position. You stick the Mimeo to the left of the projected image. And then, when you're ready, you press the calibration button on the bottom. Calibration allows the Mimeo to track exactly the movement of the pen, and it's essential that you calibrate before each Mimeo session. The calibration process brings up nine red targets, and you have to click each one exactly in the middle. It's quick and easy, and kids love doing it for the teacher. So, if you're teaching children, you can ask them to do it for you. Right, in the next tutorial, we'll start to actually use the Mimeo.